after selecting a properly proof tray of dough, I'm going to put a little cornmeal between the dough balls. So when I cut them apart by pushing the dough knife into the dough seam between the dough balls, come down and cut it clean from its neighbor, cut it clean from the sides if necessary. Then I'm going to lift it off the tray and with short jabs. I'm going to peel it cleanly off the tray. Lay it down in the cornmeal and I want to make sure I get all the sides, top and bottom, covered with cornmeal so there's no sticky spots at all. And I'll move it to the table. I want it face up the same way as it came out of the tray. I want to get my index fingers out of the way and bring my middle fingers together to make an even arch with the fingertips. Start my fingertips on the far outside edge of the dough ball. I'm going to pull back on the top and the friction of the table is going to roll the bottom up around my fingertip. When I get that, I'm going to lock it down. And I turn it, do it again here, then I'm going to pull here. You see any irregularities that were on the outside edge of the dough ball now disappear into the top. Make sure I got the edge locked down. <clears throat> now take any big bubbles in the middle and pop them. Turn it over. Okay. From this point forward, I'm going to imagine I have a little square on the dough ball and I'm going to pull the square into a rectangle. All my effort is focused right here in the inside edge of the dough, not the outside crust and not the middle. Turn the dough ball. I'm going to do another square right here. I'm going to make a rectangle out of it. Turn the dough ball. Imagine a square. Make a rectangle. It's important to hinge the hands at the thumbs. Go around the dough ball two times. And when you're done, it should be even around the outside edge. Okay. Take your dough docker, you're going to go once, twice, three passes with the dough docker. Okay. We'll pull a screen off the rack, set it down on the table. I'm going to pick my dough ball up with my palm facing up. My fingertips are going to lock inside the edge. I'm going to lift the opposite edge of the dough and balance it on my arm with my fingertips locked on the inside edge. Then I take my second hand at a 45 degree angle, lock my fingertips, pull the dough ball up my arm until it's balanced on the other arm. Take the opposite hand, 45 degree angle, lock the fingertips in there, pull it up my arm. We're going to go back and forth three or four times. Always sure that the center of the dough ball is on your forearm, not in the palm of your hand. Okay. Last step, we're going to balance the dough ball on the back of our fists, swing the bottom out, drop it down on the screen, make sure it fits to the screen with a 1 8 inch overhang. We'll make a breadstick, choose a well-proof tray of small dough, cut the dough balls cleanly from its neighbor, just like we do with the large doughs. Put it in the cornmeal, cover all the surface areas of the, of the dough. When we bring it over to the table, we're going to take it and we're going to cup the dough in both hands and pull it into a rectangle. We'll lay it on the table. Flatten it out, pull the opposite corners to square it up, and we take our pizza cutter. We're going to trim the outside edge because they don't like to stretch long. Get rid of those. And what's left, we're going to cut into eight pieces. Cut it in half, each side in half again. 
and split each of those one more time. Next we'll select a breadstick tray, set it down on the table. I'm going to take my strip of breadstick and I'm going to pull it evenly across the whole length. You need to pull it bigger than the tray and we'll spring back slightly to stop at the edge of the tray. Do this with all eight pieces. You want to be careful that they're not touching each other. They tend to shrink up. Just go ahead and fix it again before it goes in the oven. Okay, we'll open the oven. And the back of the breadstick tray should be at the very back of the window in the front of your oven. Slide it inside. And close it. Cut it apart from the neighbor. Mm -hmm. Peel it off the tray cleanly. Put the dough ball in the cornmeal. Cover all the surface area. Put it on the table. This time we're not doing any edge stretching. Just smash it straight down all the way around the outside. You can see my fingertips are over the edge. We'll flip it over again over the edge. And it's slightly bigger than the 10 inch screen. We'll get our 10 inch screen down, set it on the table. Pick our dough bowl up. If it needs a couple of extra slaps to get it uh, bigger than the 10 inch screen, we'll do that. And it will be about a half inch bigger all the way around and ready for a stromboli. For our cheese stick, we're going to take a small dough ball, cover all the surface area with cornmeal. This time, again, we need no edge lock or edge roll. Smash it flat down. Push out all the air. I'm going to do the edge stretching. Again, my fingertips are over the outside edge. And for a cheese stick, we're going to over dock. Because they tend to bubble a lot more than the traditional pizzas. We're going to take our 10 inch screen and for a cheese stick it will fit the screen with an eighth inch overhang like a pizza.